Let me start with my opening. I mean, with one questions. Do you know what is an, an employment rate for those people who are aged between 15 to 24 years old in India in 2022, last year? Do you know what's an employment rate? Means that how many people don't have a job? Actually, it is 28.26 almost one out of three young people in India, they, don't, they are not in jobs or they don't have a job. One in three, that means three of your friends, one of them are no job. And you would think 15 to 24 years old, it is a high school, 10th grade, uh, 10th graduate or the, I mean, college graduate age. Huh, one out of three will be no job. So is that is still good to uh, go to the college? The college degree does not help to get a job. So some parents come to the conclusion, are they? no need to invest in the higher education. No use to invest four more years in the college education because the results are same. Everybody, one out of three have no job. Are they? no, no, no. Please don't, and you have to educate yourself. Don't only see, only look at one data and make the wrong conclusion and it's heading to the wrong direction, yeah? So I want to share with the powerful, what is the power of education, okay? This is the male, we just, this is US, okay? The male, I mean, the whole lifetime, I mean, earning is 1.5 million US dollar, but the master degree student, the whole lifetime, he's going to make 3.05, means double of what the high school is going to get. This is about 25 crore actually a year. I mean, in the lifetime they are making in US. Now, you will say that, now you see what is the power of education. So if you are, you have master degree, your lifetime earning is going to double of those high school graduates. Right now, the more complicated the society or the, I mean, industry developed, companies need more talent who have the intellectual capacity to deal with unscripted, unexpected problem or situations, right? Simply, you only simply work in the uh, repetitive task, such as the worker who work in assembly line in the, uh, in the smartphone manufacturer. You simply work hard there for 10, 15 years. Your skills, your skill set will not be eva highly evaluated by the company. So you get low pay. The real strength of a master degree students is the overall training that it provides the flexibility. It allows the student to have the complex career, I mean, career plan. When, when, so he can change the job in many times in his life, which can have, the, and he has the ability to adapt. And who, because he can adapt, he had the capability to adapt. So he deserve a promotion. That's why he get a lot of, I mean, good potential, I mean, career opportunity. So you might think, wow, but still, why 30% of the students are not able to get a job after graduate from the college? I want to clear one thing, not because they cannot find a job, by the way, not because they cannot find a job, but they are searching for a job which is the most suitable for them. They are searching, does not mean they cannot find it for the college students. Yeah, college student, they might not want to work only simple in the assembly line in the smartphone manufacturing. So he can work there, but he choose not to, right? So in US, probably, I mean, the young people in the age between 20 to 24, every year, actually they change the job. Every year, 30% of people, they change job like that. When they get settled, they settle when they are about 35 years old. So in about 11, 12 years, they are keep searching. They are keep jumping here and there. 
Yeah, they, they, I think they, they, they change job. 30% of people change job every year. Now, this uh, recent, I mean, uh, research is a research done by the MIT professor called, I mean, Merit, uh, Merit D. Uh, Somers, MIT's professor. He had done a job transfer, like the people change job research in US. So he had done, I mean, between 1995 to 2019. So what she found is very interesting. She say those employees, if their salary is in the bottom 25% in any company, okay, that means junior uh, employees. If they, this in this research, they highly, let me say that again, they highly recommend you ch change job if your salary is in the bottom 25%. He showed that if this 25%, I mean, bottom 25% of the people, they only change job within the company for long term, long run, their salary is going to be 7% lower than the market. So because those, so those new graduates, they are in the job hopping to find a better fit and better job. It's the right strategy, by the way. So if you only change it within the company, your salary actually is going to be 7% lower than the market. Now we can conclude a higher employment, um, unemployment rate for, uh, for, Indian, um, for Indian should not affect your decision that you like education does not have the value. I already show you, right? Education has the power. You can get higher income in the lifetime. So the company actually right now is willing to pay higher salary because that you, for example, the master degree student, they can really deal with a different, I mean, um, um, problem. And you can be a better positive contributor to the company. That's why they pay well now. So my question, then you will ask, why Taiwan? Like I said, right, Taiwan can, can not only provide you the high quality education. Most of the people, I can tell you, 90% of you don't know where, even don't know where Taiwan is. You don't know what the Taiwan, I mean, what's a native Taiwan, this language people are speaking. But you have to know that Taiwan is the number one semiconductor industry in the world just for your information. So this unfamiliar place for most of you, you not only, if you study in Taiwan, not only you are getting the high quality education, but you will get a very valuable training to deal with unfamiliar, uncertain situation and try to get things done when you are studying in Taiwan. And this training, I can ensure you that you will always be in demand in the job market, not only in India, but around the world. You can be truly a global citizen when you study in Taiwan, the training you are getting. So a lot of young, young people, they want to find a safe and sta I mean, stable uh, government job. And they will say, ha, huh, I got a job in government. I am." Already, I mean, assured means I'm sunk. So you say, I'm, ha, huh, I'm already assured. So I'm safe. But I want to give you, I want to give more respect to those people who are there to take the chance to navigate to the unknown land for 10 times higher return in their life for this venture. Yes, there might be many uncertainties in the seas, in the, in the ocean, when you are navigating to find a, a, a new land. But you know, the real opportunity is always hiding during the navigation. And sometimes it's, it's not even safe in the short, right? In the short, sometimes you, you say it's safe. It might not be tsunami might come, the global warming, I mean, will come even you are, um, under short, sometimes the water can still cover you, isn't it? 